Hi, today I'm going to talk about a practical way to use SmartList and your to-do list or your reminders. Now I use SmartList a lot, so I like to add it to my menu bar. And to do that, I'll just simply right mouse click anywhere on the menu bar and choose Customize. And then I can decide which menu bar I want to add it to. I'm going to add it to my main bar so it'll be right up here with Transactions, Inquiry Reports, and Cards. So simply click on Add and then I just use the navigation as if I were doing it manually. So I know to get to SmartList, I'd go to Microsoft Dynamics GP and then SmartList, so I'll click on Add. And now I can move it up or down depending on where I want it to display in the menu bar by using the up and down keys. But I'm happy with it being the first one on my list, so I'll click OK. And now you can see the icon. This is the SmartList icon. So when I want to use SmartList, I'll simply click on this icon and SmartList will open. Now, a practical way to use SmartList is with the reminders is for unapplied payments, credit memos, and returns because it's a good idea to keep a hand on which ones haven't been applied. I always tell customers if you're not sure which invoices to apply it to, then don't apply it and go back and apply it later. I'm a big believer in he who writes the check decides where it goes, unless it's a specific credit or a return for an invoice. So let's open up the sales object and then we'll open up the receivable transaction. And there's a default one out here already for unapplied transactions, unapplied documents. But it includes all unapplied documents, which includes invoices or debit memos or finance charges. It includes everything that increases and decreases the customer account. And I'm only interested in looking at what decreases the customer account. So let's create a new favorite and we'll call it unapplied documents. Actually, let's call it unapplied uh, returns and payments. And we'll just simply add this to both favorites and reminders and we'll say if the number of records is greater than zero. So if there's even one record we want it to appear and I want to use the new feature in GP2010 to display it as a queue. That way it stands out or jumps out at me a little bit more. And we'll click OK. So now let's go in and edit this. We'll click on search to enter some new criteria. It's already set up if the current transaction amount is equal to zero. The current transaction amount is the unapplied amount as opposed to the original transaction amount or document amount. So we'll enter in our second criteria, which is document type. And we'll say if the document type is between credit memos and payments. Now let's go ahead and set our maximum records in case for some odd reason we happen to have more than a thousand. And I'll click OK. And now we have our smart list. So let's go back to favorites and modify. Whoops. Yep. That way it's now updated to include just those transactions that have not been fully applied that reduce a customer balance. So let's close this out and refresh our home page and now you can see there are 14 unapplied documents that reduce a customer balance and if I simply click on it I can see it in my SmartList window. This is a great use of SmartList and it can save you time looking for those documents that need to be applied. Hope this helps.